This island state with high population density and economic growth. We have experienced a six-fold increase in waste disposed from 1970. At this rate, scarce land and resources would need to be set aside for more incinerators and landfills. This is clearly unsustainable. Singapore's Green Plan 2012 aims to raise recycling rate to 60% and to strive towards zero landfill. Reducing packaging material not only results in less waste but also cuts production cost. In partnership with the food and beverage industry, the Singapore Packaging Agreement was launched in 2007, saving 850 tonnes of FMB packaging waste in its first year. The number of companies signing up has tripled. Soon, other industry sectors will be involved with the agreement. Packaging waste forms about one-third by weight of household waste. Every year, each of us throw away about 100 kilos of packaging waste at home. That is a lot of material, and much of that might have not much purpose other than to attract buyers. We can reduce this through careful design at the production stage without compromising the quality of the product. In 2007, Bring Your Own Bag Day was launched. With the support of NEA, the campaign is spearheaded by the Singapore Environment Council to encourage shoppers and retail outlets to reduce the use of plastic bags. Since 2001, the National Recycling Programme, or NRP, collects recyclables door-to-door, -door, fortnightly, from HDB and private landed estates. The participation rate in the NRP increased from 15% in 2001 to 63% in 2008. A network of recycling bins spans across HDB estates and high-traffic public areas. From November 2008, condominiums and private apartments are also required to provide recycling facilities for their residents. By end 2008, 97% of schools have recycling corners where students can place their recyclables. To sustain this momentum, NEA frequently engages the community, changing mindsets and educating the public. About half the waste in Singapore comes from the industrial sector. Currently, construction and demolition waste, horticultural waste and used slag are being recycled. Any waste not recycled, which can be incinerated, is sent to our waste-to-energy plants. The energy recovered supplies about 3% of our energy needs. 11,400 tonnes of scrap metal was recovered by these waste-to-energy plants in 2008 alone. Non-incinerable waste such as construction debris, silt and ash are disposed of at our offshore landfill. Samarco Landfill is clean, free from smell and open to the public for all to enjoy its rich biodiversity. Our integrated waste management strategies have yielded good results. The overall recycling rate increased from 40% in 2000 to 56% in 2008. The lifespan of Samarco landfill has increased from between 25 to 30 years to between 35 to 40 years. The need for additional incineration plants has been reduced. Per capita municipal waste has decreased. But as the economy and population continue to grow and consumption patterns change, Waste generation is expected to increase, possibly outstripping the progress made thus far. As cities grow, so does the waste generated. Singapore is no exception. This is why, through our 3 r efforts, reduce, reuse, recycle, we hope to reduce the amount of waste. In doing so, we also help the environment. We welcome our partnerships with the private sector in developing 
innovative and cost-effective waste management solutions to help us achieve the twin goals of environmental sustainability and economic growth. Growth need not impose a waste burden on us if we promote waste minimization and recycling as a way of life. One must work closely with the NEA, other government agencies and our industry partners to promote waste management and resource recovery technology. This is a continual process and every little step of progress counts. We aim to build a world-class waste management and recycling industry which is robust, innovative and efficient. To achieve this, we must leverage on international best practices, proven technologies and innovations. We welcome the government's initiative to introduce new grants to encourage investment in waste reduction and in recycling. Sustainable development requires greater efficiency in the use of resources to minimize humanity's environmental footprint. Our environment, economy and society are interlinked and each of us is responsible for safeguarding our common future. Let us do our part to sustain it for our future generations.